Mr. Chandler, Mr. Spock. The heat's frying his comms, but we still have contact. Spock! I have activated the device, Captain. When the countdown is complete, the reaction should render the volcano inert. Yeah, and that's gonna render him inert. Should we have use of the transporters? Negative, sir. Not with these magnetic fields. I need to beam Spock back to the ship. Give me one way to do it. Uh, maybe if we had a direct line of sight... If we Hold on, Lee, man. You're talking about an active volcano, sir. If that thing erupts, I can't guarantee we can withstand the heat. I don't know that we can maintain that kind of altitude. Our shuttle was concealed by the ash cloud, but the Enterprise is too large. If utilized in a rescue effort, it would be revealed to the indigenous species. Spock, nobody knows the rules better than you, but there has got to be an exception. None. Such action violates the Prime Directive. Shut up, Spock. We're trying to save you, damn it. Doctor, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Spock, we're talking about your life! The rule cannot be broken. Spock! Try to get him back online. 90 seconds to detonations. If Spock were here and I were there, what would he do? He'd let you die. Then you let them see our ship. Oh, he's fine. Rage to Captain Kirk. Yes, Lieutenant. Is Commander Spock on board, sir? Safely and sound. Please notify him that his device has successfully detonated. You hear that? Congratulations, Spock. You just saved the world. You violated the Prime Directive. Oh, come on, Spock. They saw us. Big deal. So my boy, what you want?